I originally went to med school thinking I was going to be a surgeon, having grown up with a surgeon. Um, but where I trained in Chile, it's seven years, and through the course of my training, I kind of changed my mind. Among the diseases that I was most interested in, the patients that I liked most were the ones that were related to cancer. Usually, our first meeting is primarily trying to set expectations and say, well, this is where we're going to go. We're going to maybe, we have the diagnosis, and we're going to talk about these are the tests that we're going to do, and these are the possible treatments that we're going to do. And then, through the course of the first meeting, maybe the subsequent ones, we're going to be preparing the patient to continue on that path, whether it's going to be a path of observation and subsequent monitoring, or, or it's going to be a path of getting treatment, sometimes chemotherapy, sometimes targeted therapy, sometimes cellular therapy. But any of those will require education of the patient and actually making them feel comfortable with the team, with the center, and knowing that all these unknowns, once they hit the first treatment or the first step, is actually just start getting really being experts of their own disease. Patients do become part of your life, and I think, well, that's one of the rewarding parts of, of this job. You get, you get to know people, you get to you know, know the details of their life, you get to see people have kids, grandkids, uh, and kind of essentially get older, which is, you know, part of the fun. Also being able to offer them novel treatments and you know, very good therapies that are achieving you know, very good results uh, and progressively better. And I think second to that is being able to offer them access to research uh, and investigational products. This is something that we do and we are all here to learn something new uh, and maybe in the way of that you know, also get you to access new treatments.